When you run an individual analysis for an individual subject, usually you create a series of contrasts through either the SPM GUI or the AFNI command line. However, once you've done that, you may want to do additional things to the contrast that you've already created, or the T-maps, or the betas, or whatever. Now, without going back through the GUI or anything like that, you can actually run it through the command line using SPM's imcalc. Okay, so you can run this from the command line. It's similar to using AFNI's 3D calc or FSL's FSL Maths. It's an important tool to learn because you just do simple mathematical operations on the images. You can subtract one image from another. You can add two images together and take the average. You can multiply images, divide them, anything you want. It's important to know because this is essentially what's happening when you create the images from the GUI. To show you this, let's first open up a couple of contrast images. Okay, so these have already been created through the SPM GUI. I'm going to select these two, CON1, CON2. And just notice that these are simple contrast maps. So I've subtracted or compared two beta maps against each other to get these images. All right, so contrast 1, contrast 2. And notice that I can see the actual value of the voxel up here in the right-hand corner. So let's say that I want to subtract these two contrasts from each other. That's not very straightforward to do in the graphical user interface. So I'm going to go ahead and use the SPM imcalc command. So first thing it's going to need is it's going to need to assign some names to our different images. I'm going to assign a value, a variable p1. I'm going to say that that's con0001, as you saw in the display earlier. And p2 is going to be con0002. All right. So I really just need those two things. And keep in mind, I can have more than two images, but just for simplicity, I'm just going to have these two. So first, I'm going to create an array like this, P1 and P2. And next, I'm going to give it an output. So testimage.img. Make sure to include the extension. It caused me a lot of trouble starting out because you get an error if you didn't include a .img or .nii extension. And lastly, the actual operation we're going to do. And in this case, SPM has a couple reserved keywords. Uh, I1 for the first image you input, I2 for the second image, I3 for the third image, and so on. Okay, so just type in a simple mathematical operation, in this case, I1 minus I2, and hit return. Okay, now to see how that actually changed things, I'm going to open up those two contrasts I had before. Con1, Con2, and now my test image, which I output. So notice now if I'm centered at one voxel right here, about 0.46 for contrast 1, 0.43 for contrast 2, and the difference between them is about 0.03. And you can see that no matter where I click in this image over here. It should be the difference between these two top contrast images. So that's how you use a command line version of SPM's imcalc to take differences or other mathematical operations between different images. You can do this, for example, when you try to take the mean anatomical image by loading up every individual's anatomical image, adding them all up, and taking the average of all of those. It's a handy tool, and it gives you more insight into what's happening when you actually run contrast through a graphical user interface.